used Morgan's Laws to write a statement that is equivalent to the given one. To do so, we're going to write this given statement in symbolic form and then see how we can apply to Morgan's Laws. So we notice the it is not true, so that's going to be the negation of something. And then we notice the word and, so in parentheses we're going to have and, something and something else. The two pieces that are being connected are that jeans fit the dress code and tuxedo jackets fit the dress code. So let's call jeans fitting the dress code P and tuxedo jackets Q. So not P and Q. The appropriate law here is that to negate the AND, we negate them both and replace AND with OR. Therefore, now we can retranslate this back into English. Not P, so we'll say genes do not fit the dress code. Or not Q, tuxedo jackets do not fit the dress code. And of course, in practical terms, you could look at this and say, there are weddings where jeans are worn, there are weddings where tuxedos are worn, but rarely do the two mix. So it makes sense that this is equivalent to the original statement. But we used De Morgan's Law to do so, and it was easiest if we wrote it in symbolic form.